All right, so we are gonna start by pulling all these guys straight out. That one actually looks pretty good, not covered in oil. I'm gonna do that for all four of them going back. All right, and I have labeled them. One, two, three, and four, front to back. All right, now I'm gonna take this wiring harness, comes all the way around here, all the way through here and around, and it's got a clip in right there, and I think there's a spot in the back, so we're just gonna carefully unclip that and move that out of our way. All right, that's nice and loose. That's what that looked like. All this, you're gonna lift this up and just unplug with your thumb with the push, the push plug, unplug that. All right, I'm trying to look at what we need to do next. There's a clip back there. Where'd you go? Uh, okay, see under there, white clip that has to come off. It's just a clip for the wiring harness. And I'm gonna see if I can maybe detach this as opposed to removing the whole thing. Um, it looks like everything else I can pretty much wiggle my way around. Um, oh, there's a plug back here. That plug needs to be pulled out as well. Right there for that wiring harness. I think that's it, we'll see. All right, I think everything else should be wiggleable out of the way. I've just kind of gently moved things to the side. Here are the bolts, and it's a good idea to take note of where which ones are. So these are all gonna be the same, right there. And then there's one under that plug back there, but then some of them are stud bolts. Like that one, that one's regular, and then that one's a stud bolt. And there seems to be one. Can you see it? Regular stud back there, and then the last one is regular. Hopefully I can get to all of those. We shall see. All right, I have loosened all of these, and no worries about where they go because they retain themselves, right? They, they get loose, but they don't come all the way out. Um, so, and there were two here that I didn't show you, and one way in the back there. I didn't notice, but I've got all those. Um, and then it should be loose. I mean, I already did this. It took a bit of muscle to pop this up, um, but I was able to, so it should be loose. And we'll try to wiggle it on out of there and see if we need to take anything else off or if we can make it work. Cool. All right, we got that pulled off. And this is just super fascinating to me. This is the furthest I've ever been into my engine. Awesome. All right. You can see where this was leaking for sure. I've got the actual valve cover over here. Let's see where the old gasket is. And I'm just going to cover up this top of here so I don't get anything falling in there while I work on the valve cover. And I'll show you how to do that next. All right, well, right away, you can see that doesn't look right. That did not come out like that when I was taking this off. It's all brittle and hard and definitely riding strangely in there and up here too. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to carefully pull or pry this old gasket off and this middle gasket off too and uh, clean things up a bit and we'll go from there. All right, I got the old ones out. They were super brittle and cracked and such. I've got the new one here. It's much more rubbery and nice, and I'm just gonna press it in there. All right, all of that is now in. It just snugs around these guys. Um, 
if when you're taking the old one off you end up pulling one of these retainer bolts all the way out it's okay don't panic there's just a little um almost like a gasket you just got to position it in the hole the right way which can be kind of a pain in the butt and then just press it back in with your hand strength it should be fine um so i'm gonna throw this back in i'm just gonna walk it over there and place it on top and try to get things lined up. I'm not going to be able to video that because I only have the two hands. Um, and then we'll start tightening things down again and see where we get.